Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect Modded where in the last episode we created this beautifully big, let's just quickly pause it, this beautifully big brand new general population prison within the prison. It's pretty crazy, you got all types of different prisoners all living together in which are basically they're all dormitories, some are bigger than others, some are smaller. I've now implemented all the um, common rooms in the kind of four areas here. Which, as you can see right now, there's a gang taking over it. Let's check the intelligence. G -g gangs uh, The green gang is just killing it. Uh, I've also added in, uh, well, three. I say I've added in. There's this one already added in, the um, yard area. I've added in two brand new yard areas. Uh, put everything in there that needs to be done in. And already the green gang have taken over two of them. I want to use this one up here. Especially in this corner section here to build a brand new power station. And you'll find out why in just a moment. Now, something I've also done as well. It's added in all the tiles, the flooring, everywhere they currently need to be. And all the grass as well. Just so it looks a little bit better. You know, because it was slacking a bit. I've added in the grass all down here. Planted in a few trees. I've just done some, you know, some, some touch-ups within the prison. Which I think looks really, really cool. Well, today anyway, we've got a few things I want to do. Uh, more importantly, I want to try and focus on creating a wig and barber, well, a wig production room and a, a barber shop. So, prisoners can get sweet haircuts. You know what I mean? Right, so, we got these rooms here, which I do eventually want to use anyway. But I've also kind of zoned out this area as well now. I don't know if you noticed, right? But we have a lot of uh, spaces for solitary. What we don't have the space for is the 233 that are currently waiting um, solitary. So I've zoned this whole area here, which is going to turn into a big solitary room. Not too sure how many solitary rooms we're going to get from it. So it'll be interesting to find out. Um, what that's going to do is not only get that 230 awaiting queue down to zero, but it's also high because we've got 750 prisoners. Or, you know, almost. And we kind of also need to be able to kind of um, keep up with the demand that those prisoners have. And it's not just in solitary. There's a lot of other areas where we need to or, you know, could benefit from increasing the capacity of certain stuff. Uh, very much like how we've got all the laundry rooms. Uh, I'm going to be creating a brand new one over here to kind of um, supplement this area. Uh, the same reason why we build so many canteens. Now, we're also going to need to build, eventually, another staff room because we've got so many guards. And I'm going to be hiring more guards today because we're making 24 grand a day. I don't think that um, takes into account um, the production. But if it don't, wow, that's a lot of money. We can spend a lot more money on guards and stuff, which is heavily needed. Uh, another reason why I want to expand the, um, expand the mail room so more prisons can get mail. Maybe build a couple of more um, shops and stuff. What else have we got here? Uh, we're going to be building more and more workshops and you know, stuff areas where they need to build. Also build more cleaning rooms. That's something else as well. So, while they're getting that done, I'm going to turn this here into a laundry room. So, materials. Build the walls across there. And these two spare rooms here are going to be cleaning cupboards. Now, they're, they're pretty big. Uh, you know, i got to say, they are, they are huge. Let's place doors either side there. So, hopefully... They can have a lot of prisoners working in there for them. Right, let's play it then. Let's get the prisoners going. Go, 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 go in. So I think I've done as well. I, bought, I built more sniper and guard towers in the yard areas. I have noticed that these towers here, they can reach over the perimeter wall to kind of um, put their hands up to, or well, make the other prisoners put their hands up. Which is good because, I, I, you know, I, I swear to you guys, like... I've been watching the snipers, and they, when a riot like happens within the sniper territory or the sniper range, the snipers, they do, they just completely kill the momentum of the riot. It's really, really cool, which is why I'm placing a few more around. Now, I need to place him with a quick build options here. Where is the electric? Where is the goddamn electric room? Can I just not see it? Oh, there it is. Electrical! Now, the reason I want to place it here 
It's because I want this to power these four rooms here, which are going to be, well, these two in particular are going to be heavily kind of um, used for our weapon manufacturing, which means there's going to be so many tables in there and it's going to require a lot of electric. So I want it to have its own power supply, which we'll get onto that shortly. Now, thinking about where we're going to have the new barber shops and stuff like that. Uh, I've also added in this brand new forestry down here, which has been killing it and getting me tons of money, as well as the weapon manufacturer in. Uh, so, yeah, it's all about now keeping up with the demand of stuff. So I've given them quite a few things to do. Now, we're going to be turning... Oh, there's a riot underway. That's not great. Where is the riot happening? Oh, it's over here. It got dealt with straight away. That's pretty sweet. Now, I'm thinking we turn some of these into our wig production. Maybe. Maybe. I think that would be a good little shout. Oh, there's a gang over here. They're going somewhere. Intelligence. Gangs. Uh, they're going to be taking over this one. This one or this one. It's going to be one of them. I think it is going to be this one. Which is a good job I just placed all that stuff in now. Which I'm going to quickly... Hook it up to the um, power grid there. Just so I've got it in before they do take it over. Now I'm thinking we turn one of these into our wig rooms. Uh, where is our rooms? Uh, we've got wig production and barber shop. I think they're going to be cool little things. We have a barber shop here. A wig production here. Now I was going to use these for like workshops and stuff like that. But I think adding those two in there is going to be perfect for us. I think that's going to be pretty sweet. Right, I've given our workforce quite a bit to do. So it all comes down to now them actually getting it done. So while they're doing that then, I want to also think about planning. Um this shop area here because as great as the shop is we could do with maybe making it bigger or and then expanding the mail room just so we can get more prisoners having the mail and stuff so where do i want to place stuff i could maybe do like two shops i could maybe like do one down here in this area which i think will be a pretty cool thing let's um if i zone that to the same size of that room oh we're auto saving god damn it so there and make that completely huge. And then if I kind of split it in the middle. It's not going to be perfectly sized. If I split it in the middle. Hmm. What was that again? That was uh, 36. So 12. Then a 12. And then that is a 14. So if I do a 12 here. Give it a... That splits it into three rooms. We can potentially do three things with that, which I think will be pretty cool. So, things we can have in there. We can have one shop. Uh, do you know what? We can actually you know, leave that as it is and have an additional mail room as well. So, leave those where they are. Have a store, a mail room, and then something else. Are they rioting again? Where are they now rioting? Oh, is it down here? Yeah, okay, look, look, look. Can you see that most of them now got their hands in the air? That's because the snipers are doing their job. Just see it, look. Hands in the air. Look how far the laser beams go as well. That's kind of cool to see. And they'll just keep firing until they put their hands in the air. It really just kind of completely kills any momentum a riot has. Right, so from here then. Uh, that was by... 36 so that came up to there didn't it so i'm just trying to think if i do the same again over here we can like, actually like mimic what we're doing down there and then pathways i just love this grid section i'm doing because it you know it's like small little mini highways allowing our prisoners to navigate themselves around the prison now that leaves up this space here for something for something yes it does and what could we have in there you know what? We'll, we'll do like I do a double path, which then leads up the walls here. To have something really small in there, which I think will be pretty cool. It kind of just splits everything up there, so that'll be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen. So what we'll do, we're placing down all the foundations. Now fast forward it, get everything done. So I think that's pretty cool. Rather than you know getting rid of that one and then making that one bigger, just build more. We'll have like an, an even distribution around the prison and we're getting a lot more jobs. So we're going to be tripling our production on the store and the um, the mailroom, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. 
Right, let's fast forward then. Let's get some of this work done. Uh, they've stopped building over here because the riot was happening. Uh, and, you know, the workmen, they, they simply just get scared. <laughs> Um, the more I think of this over here, I could probably turn that into like a, a larger staff room if I... Maybe... Let's go to planning. Get rid of these pathways here. Foundations. Let's get rid of these foundations. Just completely make those big. Um, planning. Oh, click, select the walls first. We'll go into a small staff room, so then we've got an alternative staff room somewhere else within the prison. Right, get stuff done. Let's go. Let's rock and a roll. Right, so we got the cleaning cupboards over here almost set up. Let's go to rooms. Uh, cleaning cupboards. The more cleaning cupboards we've got, the cleaner the prison's going to be because we can actually hire them to work in there. Which I should actually also think about this general... Oh, what about gardeners? We've got seven gardeners. Let's hire our up to 20. We've got the money to do all this. The more gardeners we've got, the better the prison's going to look. Janet says we've only got actually nine. Let's also get up to 20. So we've doubled our janitor and garden force already, just like that. Uh, how is this going on over here? They're slowly getting there. They're going to take some time. Oh, okay. We've now got power in these rooms, which is pretty sweet. Uh, barbershops and stuff like that, they're going to have nice wooden flooring. I think that would look pretty swanky. There we go. Good stuff. Now, for deployment, I did do a few. I haven't. I don't think I've done any here. Guard patrols. Yeah, I've done a few guard patrols around here. Uh, but generally, there's not many in, in general going around. So let's place a few guard patrols here. We'll do like three guards in that one. We'll do like um, dog patrol, armed guard patrol. Um... Did I do it in this one? No, I haven't. Let's do a guard patrol up here. There's a riot underway. <laughs> There's just always riots. I mean, they don't last very long. I think that's the, that's the only like benefit I can take from the whole situation. Is the riots, they just do not last long enough. Uh, dog patrol, um, guard patrol, armed guard patrol, sorry. Dog patrol. Right, where else we got? We got this brand new... Yard up here as well. We get this in. I think that goes outside of it, but that's fine. Uh, dog patrol. I mean, I'm guard patrol. Dog patrol. Get a couple on there. So where do we not have guard patrols where we would actually benefit from it? So we've got some down here, which is uh, looking good. That's all fine. Workshops. Maybe, yeah, we could have some in the workshops. So, one going up and down in there, in the library. One going up and down in the library. In the laundry. One in the laundry. One in this workshop, too. Just so we've got, basically, guards everywhere. One in there. We've got to keep an eye on these guys. We have to keep an eye on these guys. Classrooms, I think they're going to be fine for now. Um, yeah, this should be fine for now then. We'll see how it goes. We've got 50, 50 odd guards that are relatively just simply free and doing what they want around the prison. It was almost kicking off down there. Right, how's the stuff getting on then? Are they, what are they spending all their time on building our, um, workmen? Are they down here building this one? They're kind of all over the place. They're doing a little bit of everything, aren't they, at the moment? So, we'll, we'll let them, oh, they're also building the floor down here. They're taking their time. They're legit taking their time. <laughs> right, so also rooms as well. Now, I want to um, designate these to two big, huge gun assembly rooms. Now, this is purely because of how much money you can make off guns. This is, in the long run, it's going to make us a lot of money in the prison. Which is going to help us out big time. So, we need a gun table and uh, a table. So, where's the gun table? Where's the gun table at? It is gun table. So we're just, just starting here. One there, one there. I'll try and squeeze in as many as I possibly can. Follow the line down. It's a 
pretty sweet, this is. There we go. Nice general pattern. They cost us a thousand each as well. So we do it up to there. And then we're placing a, a bunch of tables then. For all the items. Should I rotate and put some on the side as well? I think that would be um, a pretty cool idea. There we go. Not bad. That's a lot of tables now gone in. Did they say we're not going? Hmm, some of I was pressing some of the stuff then. It just wouldn't go in. That's a bit weird. Right, let's do the same over here then. Get them all in. I'm not too sure how far down we've got to get it to go. Is it to there? Yeah, I think it's to there. Oh, damn it. No, did it again. <laughs> and again, I'm going trigger happy now with the mouse. Bam, we're getting them all in. Can you imagine the, how much guns we're now going to be producing in this prison? Does that not scare you? It scares me. Uh, we're going to have to get some metal detectors or something right now. That's something we don't have in the general population area as well, is, is um, actual... How far down is um, metal detectors? I don't believe. I had the room to place them in. I just haven't done it yet. Um, so, okay, so what's powering this area here? Where are they getting their power from? Um, they're getting it from this one, which is going to be pushing it over the limit. Okay, so I'll see how much um, power gets taken up by all of these rooms. I need to do the wig production room as well. So in here, we need a table and a barber press. So one, two... Squeeze all these in. Is that decent spacing? Yep. And then we'll place all the tables at the bottom. There we go. Tables. One there. Oh, that's nice. We can fit in four along the bottom. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. You got to admit. Right, come on. Let's get this doing. Let's get this done. Okay, so now it's time for. Oh. The um, the barber shop, which requires a barber chair and a barber mirror. So a barber mirror. Oh, this looks really good. You have to admit this looks really good. Right, wait, stop, stop, stop. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Barber chair. Oh, this is gonna look like a legit barber shop, guys. Can you rotate these? Oh, no, you legit can. Oh, this is good. And you know what I'm going to do as well? Make it look like an actual, like, almost like a proper barber shop. And then you have, like, benches and chairs where, um, you know, customers are waiting to go sit down next. Bam. And uh, benches. As if they're waiting to, like, to be next in line to get their hair cut. How cool is that going to be? That looks really, really good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Right, we need to get something to do the, um, do the floor as well. These um, here with tiles. That, one, that one's done. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Get them all in. It's going to take a while to get all this stuff in, but how is that holding up? Wow. That's doing very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do, actually? Is... Yeah, okay, utilities... We're going to dismantle all of these utilities here. We'll hook these, this one back up to there. That's fine. And once it's got ridden of um, that whole general population section off that power grid, we're going to hook it onto the new one. Then I can place in all the metal detectors that's needed um, to, again, make it look pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so it's now off the grid. I'll hook them up by this way there. Um, I'll also get this on the grid as well. Anywhere else needs to be hooked up? Nope, should just wait for them to link it all up, and then we should be good to go again. A little bit dark at the moment, but, you know, we should be okay. It's actually snowing now, so swimming cows as well. Uh, logistics, temperature. Where's the... Oh my goodness me. I need to place in some more um, radiators, and we've got the electrical ones, electrical radiators. 
So let's actually place some of these in. So we do one there, one there, we do one here, one there. Uh, we're getting some over here. I can't believe we're making them freezing cold. Uh, right, now this is going to be tricky. Where should I place no, it? It should be fine to do, like, do one there. One there, one there. One there, one there. One there. And we'll see see how how that goes. I've given I've given the uh, the workforce a lot to do. Now did they get this built in? They got all this built up over here. So utilities. Now we could potentially just use the the same power supply for. Then again, we are going to be pushing that power supply over the edge. That is very, very close. So we're not going to use that power supply then. Forget that. We'll use this one up here. Let's make it go round. Now, we don't need to be too worried of where it's going. I'll get it in the important parts. There we go. Okay. So, get that done then. Um, let's place all that, all the um, cells in because I can actually just clone. Uh, well, not really clone, but quick build. Uh, like simple solitary cells now. So it's not a free. We don't want a free by free. Is that is that it? A free by free? No, we want the one that's got the toilet in. So where is that? Where is that going to be? Where is the solitary? We have the poop in. There we go. It's got the toilet in. So place as many of these as I possibly can. Um, last time I just quickly checked then, we had like 193, I believe it was, still awaiting solitary. So once we got all these in, it's going to be like a ridiculously a huge help in, in the prison. Getting um, people punished. And again, if we can, we, we're just trying to keep up with capacity. We're trying to make sure there is, a, it's basically like supply and demand. There's a huge demand for certain things within the prison, like solitary, uh, work, laundry, food, you know, stuff like that. And we gotta, we gotta, you know, there's a huge demand. We gotta supply that stuff. That's it's basically, that's how it basically works. Can I say basically one more time? Basically. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get in where I can. Oh, why can't you go there? There you go. Rotate you. No, I can't do like these sections here because weirdly enough, they don't like it when they're building like a crossway wall. So if I place in this section here and come back a little bit later and do the rest, you learn. It's kind of it's hard to ex explain it, but it's kind of how it works. Like when you're creating like um, like like the little crisscross as it would be with these walls there. Sometimes they don't build it correctly. I think it's just mainly a bug or something like that. But you know. What can you do? That's a lot for them to do now then. Let's get all that in. So gun assembly is all set up. The barber uh, shop is all set up. Uh, the wig production is now all set up. So deployment, no. Um, logistics, prison labor. 13 can work in here. Not bad, 13 in this one as well. Sweet. Uh, we got gun assembly, 20 prisoners can work in here. That's crazy. Which also means we can now up um, educating them to work in these new areas. Right, we've also got these brand new cleaning cupboards, which 17 can work in here. That's a lot, and 17 in here as well. That's a lot of prisoners now that are going to have jobs. Okay, so they haven't quite built the electricity we need just yet. But let's go into programs. Okay, so let's have a look then. We got the um da 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 dum da da dum da 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 dum da 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 dum looking for the gun building. We can Yeah, we can't do any more than what we currently got. Right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we now have the barber stuff, so we can go down to um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How to cut Um Making Wigs is not a simple thing. Inmates must complete this course before they can they are permitted to work in the wig production room. Led by a barber chief in a barber shop. Oh, we gotta hire a new guy then, okay. Um Is that all is that all that's needed? Um Bam. So why can't we do this how to cut? 
Oh, it's that of Galu legit. Uh, staff. Hiya! Hey, Barber! Chief. Which means I'm going to need another office. Damn, Seniac. Da 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 damn. Where's he going? Where's this dude going? Has he got a room? Oh, he's got a room! Okay, we did have a room spare. Okay, that could be an also another reason to why we um, can't have any more gun production or gun building. Who, who's it led by? Uh, oh, a foreman. We can't have multiple foreman anyway. That's fine. Okay, how to cut? We've now got that going. Um, now, when it comes to the wig production, that's um, obviously they need to be trained to work in there. But what about the barber shop? Do we have anything that could, um, like, legit go towards it? Uh, basic swimming, plot, rock cushion for dummies, animal care, finance class. No. No, okay, so I think barbershop is just generally, they're just going to work in there, no questions asked. So we don't need to, like, really know much about it. How to cut? Ooh, we'll have three because there's 42 interested. That should be pretty sweet, then. Should be pretty sweet. Okay, so where are we then with um, this over here? Oh, they're going... To, I didn't realise they're going to also need toilets. I completely forgot about that. So let's get all that in. we go across the back there. Across the side. Down the middle. Like that. And because I'm super duper lazy... Let's just do this. So lazy, Sediac. You are so lazy. You can't even place them in individually. You have to be a big lazy poopy pants. Yeah. I have to. But, you know, they're all going to be in. Right, give my workforce so much to do today. How is that? Ooh, that's, that's fine. So we, we should be able to have place in quite a few metal detectors now in this area. So, metal detectarties. Oh, oh, we're autosaving again. <laughs> Damn it, autosave. I gotta turn you off. Right, metal detector. So basically, all entrances to this cell, this huge general population cell block, are going to have metal detectors there we go metal detector there hmm I'm gonna have to place them in here as well aren't I I can't be outsmarted by the prisoners <laughs> happens quite often but I, I won't let this happen anymore how much we got? 47,000. Bam, there we go. Place them in down there. I believe I did. So that's all the engine's taken care of. I've only had to place them in around this section there because that's the only way to get in. Wow, we got some huge riots today. Oh my goodness me. Why are they all going crazy here today? You've also got, I've also got to remember as well, because there's so many prisoners uh, awaiting solitary, uh, it's now rising because of the riots that are going on at the moment, but like the ones that before, the ones that are awaiting before this riot, they've been in cuffs the whole time, meaning they're like just standing there. A lot of them in their own wee and poo and really hungry, and that's like having a negative effect for the prison overall as well. Right, it's luckily it's open because it'll help the workforce get in and out. Why is it just a random door there? Let's just dump that. <laughs> uh, lock open. Good stuff. Let's get them doing that. Okay. Sweet then. Laundry room down here. We're going to need water. Water, man. We'll have the pipe in the cross here. I'm just placing this now there. So rooms... Where is laundry? Laundry. So this is going to be our fourth laundry room. I'm surprised we haven't built any more than that. Uh, laundry machines. 
We'll keep that to there. Because they are very power hungry as well. Uh, we'll get some tables in. And then a ton of the laundry baskets. Uh, materials, we'll do all the white tiles. We haven't placed any of these white tiles in over here, but let's place them all in. And that should take care of that section there. Once it's all done, again, a ton more prisoners now have jobs. Okay, so it's currently free time slash eat. This guy is waiting for a haircut, but it's currently not work time. So they can't get... Dude, you've got no hair. How are you coming to get a haircut? <laughs> you freak. I think he's come to get a wig. <laughs> right, how's he going over here? Are they doing it yet? There is just so much I give into the um, the workforce to do. Uh, it's coming down slowly. There's now only 150 awaiting. We have 50 currently in solitary, which is not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's get the flooring done on the outside. Bam, there we go. I'll do the grass. Oh, 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 oh. Why did it do that? You damn fool. <laughs> it just completely jumped there, and I was going to place in grass throughout the whole prison. So, concrete tiles. Let's get these running through just so you can see where they need to be. And now they've got all those in, I can actually go back to the quick build now. Uh, solitary cells and place in the last ones. Not bad. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Well, let, let them do what they've got to do. I'm just giving them so much more to do on top of what they've already got to do. Just just take your time. Okay, while we're taking the time then, we got 25 prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. Wow, a lot of them have been released. That's kind of cool. We've got 20 Gs left. I've spent loads of money. Uh, so let's check some of the intelligence then. Let's check the gangs. What are the gangs doing these days? So is it still purely the green gang taking over? Oh, the red gang actually has something. It's about time they got something and, you know, almost start to earn some form of money. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice to see. Um, the Green Gang is completely raking in the dash, the cash, the cash money moolah. Uh, the Blue Gang has a few things. It has, it has one common room and one yard. Not great pieces of territory, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. They're doing pretty, pretty well. So, contraband in the last seven days is all over the place. How much of those metal detectors have we got in yet? None at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is probably just do a huge shakedown. That would probably be like a really good thing to do. Uh, how's the water? They haven't finished placing in all the items yet to do the water. We've still got loads of pipes to do. So, it, you know, as usual, take your time. Wait, is the... Hold on. Oh, I think when I got rid of all that flooring, for some reason, it's also got rid of all the designated piping and where that needed to go. So it looks like I'm going to have to place this all down again. No wonder it wasn't getting done. Right, get that all in. I want to, I'm going to do a big shakedown in just a moment. I want to check the informatives as well. See if they've got any good knowledge for us. Okay. So, intelligence. Um, informatives. Wow. Warren Hughes has done 100% coverage of the whole prison. Oh, my God. Is any of them... Um, got to hit out on them. I'm just going through now. They're all gang members. I just want to make sure none of them have been labelled a snitch yet. No. Uh, gang member, no. Steven, no. 
None of them have been labeled snitches, which is which is good for us. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to put any of them in like protective custody, which is it's good. None of them need to fear for their lives. Right, the workforce are doing good. Then let's check the needs of the prison. Now, a lot of it is going to be really high. We've got. Okay, we've now got the awaiting list down to just under 90. So a lot of this stuff is going to be high anyway because there's a lot of... Uh, there's nearly 200 prisoners who have been awaiting solitary and are in solitary for a long time. So their needs and stuff are going to be really, really high. Spirituality... Um, allergy, I can't even say the word. Spirituality is, is quite high, but... No bit... Well, yeah, it could be a good idea to build a second chapel. Because, again, we've got a huge demand for it. And we've got a lot of prisoners. And, like, obviously, the capacity is not very high for that. Family exercise and hygiene. You know, that, that, that all comes down to a lot of them are in solitary anyway. Uh, programs. we still got the 20% of past the, the education, which is taking a while. Uh, actual grants. Sal Block E. We've just done that because we now got past the 500 mark it wanted. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Have we got, oh, the barbershop. Um, have five prisoners pass how to cut. Pretty sweet. Um, do we have any... Oh, an extra grant. We can research to get an extra grant as well. So we can have free on the go, which would be pretty handy for us. Right, have they done this laundry room yet? It's taking their sweet, sweet time. They're actually now focusing on that more and more. How is it doing over here? That's slowly getting done. That's all I can say. We're slowly getting there, guys. <laughs> slowly but surely. It's just a general waiting game now. It's just a general waiting game. Okay. Which is good for us. So much done today. I'm pretty impressed. I actually want to see. Oh, those are not linked up to the power supply. Is there anything else that we're going to place in and not linked up yet? I don't know. We'll find out when they get it all placed in. I want to see them actually someone pass the um, how to cut program. Oh, they're teaching them now how to cut. So, okay, okay. So they learn in the barber shop and then they get trained or then they go to work in the wig production room, which is going to be pretty handy. I want to also want to know how many are over in here working. There's a few working in here. So we've got a few working in the new rooms. And a few working in the old old room. Do we have any exports at the moment? Oh, okay, so we got now. Um, place that down. Oh, a prisoner dropped that down. Okay. Uh, we got some. Oh my god, we got 1,500 there, 1,500 there, 1,500 there, uh, uh, 190 there. Oh, we got another one there for 1,500. So we got a lot of stuff there going in. Uh, because I dragged all that grass, now we've got a huge, like, stockpile of grass. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and use some of it. <laughs> right, let's zone this area here. we got to try and use some of this grass now. Um, let's get this section in. We'll zone up to here. Then go completely across. Just so we, we're going to be using some of that turf so it doesn't like completely um, cramp um, our import room. A delivery, sorry. Okay, so now logistics, uh, prison labor. We get 20 new in this section. Which also within logistics, let's see the laundry distribution. That's now taking a huge chunk of this general population room, which is really good for us. Uh, keeps up with that demand. Nice. Temperature, it's now warm in the areas that's needed yes 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 we could do with some radiators in maybe yeah the let me just check that how's that doing that's doing fine um maybe in the uh, solitary rooms i'll think about it i don't know just yet <laughs> uh we're gonna need power supply there they've got it there fine They've got it. Um, just, just generally looking around now to where else we're going to be placing in these metal detectors. So I don't need any around here. Only around there because I see that they can't, you know, to get in here, they've got to go through one of the other metal detectors. So that's fine. 
Good, we've now housed a lot more jobs today. Um, I want to finish now the flooring in this section here. So let's get all these in. There we go. There's not a wall there for some reason. Let's get you there. <laughs> and then um, we should actually then do some... Because we designed our other solitary room there with different colour flooring. We should do the same up here too. Let's go with like a nice red flooring here. And we'll mirror that there. And they don't have... Wait, wait, wait. They don't have any uh, walls in there. And then we also need to do solitary doors. It's a bit weird how they don't have it in. I think they've already got one in there. Should be fine. Okay. Uh, materials. So we've got the red in there. We'll do some purple on this side. And this side. And we'll go dark blue here. And here. Then we do medium blue. Medium blue there. And then we'll do light blue for the first. No. Light blue there, light blue there. Yeah, we'll just do it for the first two there. And that last little middle one there, we'll have it be yellow. Just because it's just weird. It's just going to be really weird to see that in. Right, that's more flooring they need to now do. Did that make our deliveries a little bit more free? A tiny bit, a tiny bit. Um, exports are now going out. We're making so much money off exports, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Um, right, for staff, because I did, uh, before this episode, I did hire or build a load more guard lockers. Which I could probably squeeze in a few more. Hmm, I'm not sure, sure where, though. Uh, unless I got rid. Like, dump that one. Dump that. Dump that whole section there and build in a load more locker rooms. And then we can hire a load more armed guards. Which would be really handy for us. So we wait for the workforce to get in there now and dismantle all of them. Okay, they've got rid of all of them really quick. And they can build in the new guard lockers. Which then staff will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure if it's two guards per locker or one. I think it's one per locker. I think that's how it works. Uh, we'll just wait for these to come now. Are they coming? We've got quite a lot of stuff in storage as well. Like lights and weapons racks and uh, steel. Electrical cable. Damn. We've got a lot more um, grass still coming in the grass. Oh my. Right. And we spend quite a bit of money now to hire more armed guards. But we do need them. It's very important. Right, in they come with the last few luckers. There we go. We've got a maximum limit there of uh, armed guards. We're now making nine grand a day, which is fine. We should make a lot more when the exports go out as well. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. No one's passed the um, five prisons they need to pass the How to Cut Hair program. How is any of them doing programs? Where is the How to Cut Hair? There's nine interested. Between 12 and 6. We've got three classes between 12 and 6. They're all over. So we've got to wait until tomorrow now anyway. Um, how is the, the solitary? There's now 17 plus awaiting. Ooh. Looking fancy, I see. Looking very fancy. Planning. Get rid of all that. Not too bad. This looks a little bit weird. The light blue doesn't look really that good, does it? Right, materials. We go with an orange then instead. Because that will stand out a little bit more. And I can actually do with doing these concrete tiles there as well. And we haven't done them down here. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So many grass turf we've got to use. <laughs> so much. 
I'll zone all this to grass, just so they can actually place them down. I can't believe I did that. You just completely, we've got so much grass turf. And what's all this now? There's gun parts coming in. Oh my god. There's this, again, more grass turf after grass turf after grass turf. Um, <laughs> I need like another storage room. Or just, just uh, to be honest, I just need to use some more of the, you know, of that stuff. Have they all got lights in here? Objects. We've got 31 lights, which... Just by doing that is going to, you know, use the lights. Did I miss anywhere? No. And they they all look bright. They could do with some lights over here. All right, there we go. That's going to use a lot of the lights, which are currently being housed in storage. Let's get rid of all that there. Okay, so something I need to do very desperately, and that is a shakedown. Let's do a shakedown then to end today's episode. We're going to go out with a huge bang and to see how much contraband that we are now going to find. While they're doing that, I think I've unlocked the ability to now get an extra grant. So wig production. Uh, no one's passed just yet, so there's no point in doing that. So carpentry apprentice produced 10 superior beds. We, we, we're going to get nowhere near to doing that as well. Uh, Long-term investment. We might as well get the long-term investment underway then. Uh, 167 hours. we got to wait. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hopefully we're going to find some tunnels as well. Because I feel like we haven't had any tunnels being discovered in a while. So we could, you know, really do with finding some. Um, there's a lot of places to search. A lot of places to search. That's all I'm going to say right there. Uh, the anger level, danger level is again a little bit high. It's only one one kind of exclamation mark, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Thirty nine an hour wait in solitary because again we're finding contraband on a lot of the prisoners. So remember, I got some uh, nudie magazines and some documents and stuff. There's a lot of stuff we're finding. We haven't done a shakedown in a while. It's a good job we are doing it right now. That's all I've got to say there. That's all I've got to say there. So then, things as we're now progressing into the next episode is, uh, again, I'm going to need to build a uh, new shop, new mail room. It was a new shop, new mail room. Because uh, we're going to do the staff room there. New shop, new mail room. And there was something else. I can't remember exactly what it was now. New shop, new mail room. And then something else is there. Hmm. I'm not too sure what I'm going to place there now. Let's check the rooms. Um, could be it could be um, miniature chapels we could do alongside. Yeah, we could actually do that. Um, we could do a shop, a mail room, and a chapel. Same over here: shop, mail room, mail room, chapel. Then a small little staff room to go in there, which will help everybody out. And they also want to focus on as well uh, rooms. We got stuff like the landing zone, the control tower. We got vaults, accounting, um, animal farms, pottery, ore mines, computer labs. There is just so much we're gonna do, which I want to slowly start focusing on the next coming lectures, getting stuff uh, lectures, um, next coming um, episodes. I was thinking of the classroom then with the lectures, like them doing work and stuff. Um, get them slowly, slowly done. Getting more and more jobs in the prison, making more and more money because we're now making forty. Well, the cash flow is forty six thousand because I take it we've had a lot of exports go out. Which is good for me. Very good. We've got all the lights now in here. It's all lightly um, nice and bright in there. Um, how is the storeroom doing now? Okay, so a few things are now gone out. What's the de deliveries looking like? Okay, so we've kind of sorted the huge kind of um, load of extra things we had in storage. What's now coming into the prison? It's all like food and stuff and, yep, food. Uh, there's gun parts. So it's stuff we actually do need to like keep the production line going so we almost got all this let me go to is it materials remove tunnels oh we actually there is actually some tunnels over here wow okay so we, we've discovered some tunnels in progress at the very start which is uh, pretty pretty good 
we got them before they got really, really big and maybe connected and everybody escaped. So there's three more sections to left to search. Come on, guards, you can do it. You can find those last, last three. Today, you damn fools. No. You know what? That's, that's, that's fine by me. Fine by me. That was good enough. We found a ton of stuff. Some intelligence. Uh, the demand is high. The supply is still high. So again, we still need to like um, completely cut off everything there, which is not too, not too bad. A lot of things are stolen around the edges of the prison, as you can see. Not great, but not much you can do about it. So guys, I think we're going to call it for there anyway. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below as you now got a whole brand new um, line of Again, we've, we've built so much. Two new gun assembly factories, the gun bar, um, the barber shop, the wood production. We got a new laundry, cleaning cupboards, brand new solitary section, and we set ourselves up for the next coming lectures. It's now snowing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new in here, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.